In this week's Weekend Project, we're going to build a do-it-yourself steering wheel for your smartphone or tablet. It's a cheap and fun way to immerse yourself in the world of racing simulation. The project is quite simple and only requires easy-to-find materials. Let's start the project by finding an old box. I suggest using a tall and slender one. You can use some packing tape to seal your box. Now grab a cutter and cut a hole with a 1 inch diameter. You can use a ruler and a compass to easily find the center. Do the same for the other side of the box. For this project, you'll need a pair of 1 inch PVC pipe and another pair of 3 4 inch PVC pipe. We will be using this for the steering mechanism. Now grab a 1 inch PVC pipe and carefully insert it through the box. You can use hot glue to secure it in place. Then do the same thing for the other side. Grab your other 1 inch pipe and carefully align it on top of your box. Then again apply some hot glue on both sides to secure it in place. Now let's make a steering wheel. You can use an actual steering wheel but to keep the cost low, I decided to use a plastic plate or tray. Grab a 3 4 inch PVC pipe and hot glue it to the center of your plate. Make a hole for a screw and use your screwdriver to force screw it. Later on, you'll see why this screw is very important. Now let's build a device holder for your rig. Apparently, the tablet that I'm using is quite new and is a review unit from Huawei. It was really difficult for me to find a cheap case other than this, so I decided to build my own tablet holder using a bunch of cardboard. You can easily locate the center by drawing diagonal lines from each end of your case. The intersection of those lines would be the center. Use a compass or a stencil to draw a guide for your pipe. Then again, grab another 3 4 inch pipe, then add a screw. Grab your pipe and hot glue it to the center of your case. Be sure to add a lot if you're using a heavy device such as a tablet. You can now install your device holder and your steering wheel on the box. Try to spin the shafts. Both should rotate freely with minimal friction. Remember those screws? You'll need to add another screw on the end of your pipes as well. Those screws are used for preventing your inner pipe from getting dislocated from your rig. Now find a roll of yarn, wire, or rope. We'll be using this for our pulley system. Using your yarn, make a loop on your screw and make another loop around your pipe. Do the same thing for the steering pipe. Loop your yarn to the screw and make another loop around your pipe. Once done, you can tie the yarn. Be sure to add an extra amount of tension to make your steering wheel more responsive. The lack of tension would create a lagging effect that would affect your gameplay. Now cut a hole on top of your box, then make an improvised funnel using a paper. I'm pouring some sand into the box to add weight. This will prevent your box from tumbling down when you're using it. For this project, I'm using the new Huawei MatePad 10.4 tablet. Now insert your tablet to your holder. I made a bendable metal clip using a fastener to prevent my tablet from slipping off. You can now run your favorite racing game on your device. Be sure to go to your game settings and enable the tilt mode. You cannot brake using this rig so you'll have to enable the braking assist of the game. Well actually, you can. You'll just have to buy one of those cheap Bluetooth controllers. I did find out that this $3 joystick has buttons you can use for both throttle and braking. I guess you'll just have to hot glue it here. And that's how you make a do-it-yourself steering wheel for your tablet or smartphone. If you're planning to build a smaller version of this rig, you can visit my TikTok account for the smartphone version of this project. From there, you can also find a sneak peek of my BB-8 version 2.0 tutorial. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more DIY projects. Thanks for watching!